Trick or treat! What was I supposed to do with this? Wait, I know what to do with this. Let's get started. I think I have all the materials I'm going to need to complete this Wheel at Firecracker episode. I've got a very tiny amount of flash powder. I've got my fuse. My scales are ready to roll. Um, I'm not sure what's the best way to... Ooh, wait a second. This is a very dangerous situation here. We all know that candy corn can be extremely dangerous if not handled properly, so we better put some gloves on first. Let me reiterate by saying, you know, I, I make these videos to entertain and educate. They're not for you to emulate. So, whatever you do, please, please don't play with candy corn at home. We all know how very, very dangerous it is. All right, I think the first thing we'll need to do is rule out any unlikely candidates because some of them might be uh, ready to explode all on their very own. Just simply drilling into it, you know, might cause these things to explode. So, okay, this one's a reject. Oh, see, this one's got a bit extra orange on the yellow. No good. All right, I think the rest of these are... Oh, look at that. That could have been a very dangerous situation. I think what I will try first is the drill bit, and we'll see if we can carefully... Drill half an inch, We're going for half an inch maybe. They have these little grooves down the side. I'd hate for it to rupture out the side there. And of course, I, bet I have to drill this very slowly because too much friction could cause this candy corn to explode. It's kind of it's kind of melting it anyway. Oh, oh, that was close. All right. Well, it looks like the drilling is a bad idea. But the next step is just try. To, let's just try to force a hole into it. This actually may be better because we won't be removing any material. It will just be spreading it out, and that material will add strength to the end. Oh. I didn't let the smoke out. This time, I'm going to try melting. I have a piece of uh, coat hanger wire. Get that nice and hot. Let's see what we got. Woo! Stinky. I think that's going to be the way to go. Let's do one more. I think this is the excellent method. It's going to have like a little cooked hard candy cavity in there. Now it's time to add our tasty candy filling. So I don't think much more than 0.1 or 0.2 grams will fit in there. There you go. We'll start with point one. Hmm. Looks like point zero five can fit in the cavity I made I made in that one. See the yellow sulfuric acid stains that the candy corn has left on my gloves? That's why it was so important to wear these gloves. This stuff is deadly. I've cut two two-inch pieces of cannon fuse. So I'm going to add my glue to right about here, quarter of an inch up. It'd be okay just to drizzle a little down as long as you just leave the very end of that fuse open. Be sure that I've taken all the proper environmental precautions to deal with the fallout involved with this candy corn. I'll make sure that it, none of it remains on the ground. We'll clean it all up so it doesn't end up in the runoff into some river and call it a fish kill. All right, candy corn haters of YouTube. Let's get this done. But first, let me reiterate, I make these videos to entertain and educate. They're not for you to emulate. So please don't try this at home and never ever play with candy corn. It's just too dangerous. I'm adding a little bit of tape to the detonation area. 
All right, folks. Candy corn, Will of Firecracker, special Halloween edition. Hey folks, I've alerted the authorities um, that I'm getting ready to go from completely, insanely candy corn dangerous to ludicrously, stupidly, psychotically dangerous candy corn firecracker experiment. We've, uh, the sirens are going now. Everybody's been evacuated for a couple mile radius. This is performance art, very dangerous. I make these videos to entertain and educate, not for you to emulate. Okay, candy corn crazy firecracker experiment number two. Area's clear. Here we go. I hope this doesn't open a portal to another dimension or a wormhole through space and time or something. Awesome. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, what a mess. I can't even conceive of the concept of such a calamity. I'm going to have to call the candy corn cleanup crew because because this ain't no cotton candy calamity. This is a candy corn catastrophe. Oh, brother. Well, YouTubers, thanks for watching. I think I've definitively proven that yes, candy corn can be firecracker. We're gonna try some other treats maybe next. Let me reiterate, I make these videos to entertain and educate. They're not for you to emulate. So please never try experiments with candy corn at home. It's just too dangerous. If you like this Will It Firecracker video, then please check out the links in the description to other Will It Firecracker videos down below. Also, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, they go down below. And if you think a friend might like to check out this video, then please share it. And subscribe to my channel, but only if you think I've earned it. And happy Halloween, everyone.